Yeah, if you tell us about your background, where you're from and how you got into cycling. I am from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I started riding about four years ago. Um, I have a background in soccer. I played soccer for the time I was five until I was 18, and then uh, started college and kind of dropped soccer, and then had a good friend who rode, and I just got on a bike for fun and then kind of fell in love with it. How have the results progressed over the years? Pretty pretty good. It's been a pretty rapid progression. Um, so it's 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 learning every every single year, but I've um, gotten taken some big steps up, so it's exciting. What are you good at? Uh, I'm kind of an all rounder. For the past few years, I've been a domestique, so a uh, big team player. But I hope to eventually uh, evolve into a GC rider. Mm. What do you think were the performances that kind of got you the attention of this team? Uh, I did pretty well at the Extra G Tour. I uh, it was kind of one of the first races I was given the ability to go out there and try so um, I got in a lot of breaks in that race and caused a lot of breaks and that was exciting and then at the end of the season this year at Ardèche in France I, I had a couple podiums so it was good. At what point did you know the team was interested? Was it at Exergy or was it much later in the year? Later, a little bit later. I, I had contacted Christy around the beginning of August and then she contacted me kind of confirming after our dish. Okay. Um, how have things been? You've been at this camp for a few days now, so has it matched your expectations? Oh, it's been amazing. It's The team's incredible, the staff's incredible, everyone around, the sponsors, media, dealers, everybody's been really great. Training's been going okay? Oh yeah, it's beautiful here. The roads are amazing. There's no traffic and it's just beautiful scenery. Mm. Has there been anybody on the team that's been particularly kind of helpful in giving advice, etc.? Oh, they're all great. It's it's crazy because I've been looking up to these girls since I started riding, and now I get to be teammates with them. So it's a pretty incredible and pretty incredible experience. What's uh, what's it, uh, how are things mapped out for the next few weeks? Um, you know, in terms of training, where you'll be, and also uh, your first race. Yeah, I go back to the states. I live in Northern California right now, so I'll go back um, until about early March and then I'll go over to Europe and I'm going to be living in Lucca, Italy so I'll, live, I'll be over there for the majority of the year. There's quite a few riders there, I think Taylor Finney and a few others are there. Yeah, a, lot, so. a lot of people in Lucca, a lot of people in Girona. Um, how do you see things in, you know, in the first year The first year with the team, how do you see things playing out in terms of your role? Uh, I think I'll, I'll do a great deal of learning and uh, be a big team player but I also think they'll give me some opportunities to to use my instincts and to race like they know I know how to so I think it'll be perfect. Are there any races in particular that you hope to ride? Uh, my biggest goal I guess is to qualify the, for the world championships this year um, so that would be exciting and then of course all the world cups are our goals just to get to race at and help the team succeed it. When you mention world championships are you talking about the team time trial or are you talking about the actual individual um, to get onto the, the team for that? The road team or you know the team time trial either this year or next year is definitely a big goal. Okay. Longer term where do you see your career going? Uh, well, I hope to develop into more of a leader and more of a GC rider um, and I think learning from these girls is the best opportunity I have to do that.